My strength is composition. Looking at art books and being an artist and sketching and do that, I, all my life I've done that. I think his images really, his photography shows that he's really interested in what he does and the subject matter. He captures the iconic look of the person in action. And I think it's like, wow, this is pretty amazing. Roland Sherman. Roland's been on the Cape forever up until recently when he moved to Amherst because the University of Massachusetts is uh, digitizing all his work. And I felt like he was very under-recognized. I just like, oh my God, here's this person who lives on the Cape and hardly anybody really knows about him. He's a spectacular photographer. He's very iconic, especially his work in the 1960s. Um, so that's when I really started getting to know Roland Moore and looking at his work. And I thought he really deserved an exhibit at PAM. I got the feeling what people would probably like to see. The people who couldn't be there, for example, at the march, I had to show the majesty of it and the scale of it and the way the people in it were feeling, and not just the, the stars that were speaking, but the, the people that were there and how they reacted. The photograph of Edith Lee Payne became the iconic photograph and symbol of the March on Washington, and that was his photograph. Because I had this unbelievable access, it said, March on Washington, official photographer, I could go anywhere. So all the pictures got put in USIA archives. I gave up journalistic photography for a dozen years because I lived in, I lived in the country in Wales and herded sheep and was a carpenter and did all sorts of neat stuff. But it, a lot of my arty, arty landscape stuff was from there, and that's where I realized I wasn't just a journalist, I was essentially an artist with a camera. That's the way it, that's the way it turned out. Just like I hoped it would. <laughs>